guys, welcome back to another episode of Roos Outdoors Adventures. This episode is we're going to show you a off-grid setup with solar panels, the 115 AH uh, battery system deep cycle um, and the battery box and how it runs our um, fridges and any uh, power supplies that we may have. We're going to show you that, we're going to show you how um, easy it is um, and how confined the setup is with the solar panel and, and, and the battery box and what features the battery box has to offer. So we're at the moment we're down here at uh, Belvedere Beach Campground and Picnic Area. It's a great little spot if you guys haven't been here before. Um, it's an off-grid campground. There's plenty of caravans, there's plenty of tents and people swagging in this little location. We'll see you guys shortly with the off-grid setup. <laughs> Episode, I'm going to show you what we were using back in the last two trips down at the Blackwood River on how we managed our power on that weekend. As you can see here, we have a big King's battery box. Um, it's got plenty of uh, features which I'll uh, show you guys soon. Okay, so here's the inside of the battery. Um, this is the 115 AH. AGM deep cycle battery um, So basically the box comes with these terminals um, Positive and negative so basically you screw them into the uh, main power circuit um, And then once that's done, it's all hooked up to the battery. So you get to close this Close it like that And there you go. So it's all closed up um, so once that's hooked up and you've got power generating from the solar panels out the front well then you can uh, make sure that you turn this on here turn off and turn on switch now to check what life your battery has you uh, press this little uh, red button here and it tells you how much um, voltage you got going through the through the battery obviously 13 volt is full uh, here's what uh, the battery life is in voltage so I'll put that in now you got your black circuit breaker. Um, you do have your uh, negative and positive terminals on the outside if you wish to use them, um, but uh, haven't used them as yet. So you have your um, your two Anderson plugs. You have that the circuit going into the battery from the from the solar panel, and you have your Anderson plug going out, which I plug my um, XTM fridge into. It's got a couple of other little features. It's got a couple of uh, USB ports and a cigarette lighter plug so if you want to charge your phone you can do that um, if you want to run anything else charge your drone batteries charge um, anything or any, any power supply that has a cigarette lighter um, you can tuck it in there and then use it through the battery so obviously you don't want to try and run everything off this battery obviously if you run three different appliances um obviously that will drain the battery out i got this from forward drive super center king's adventures i think in total it was 293 including the battery box and the battery inside so pretty good bargain um just check their daily specials they do do daily specials um on the website so just make sure you keep checking on them um so yeah on the blackwood river trip we had the xtm fridge in the back of the ute with this battery um, and it worked really well we'll be camping in shark bay um, so we'll have the setup again and i can show you a bit more detail with when we get to shark bay and how we set up and how we run everything off the uh off the battery and how the solar panel runs out All right, so we'll get this on the on the bonnet. We'll set it up, and we'll show you how to plug the cord from the battery 
to the solar panel. So you sit it on the car, just unfold it. Make sure that you've got the bag where the, all the gear is facing towards the cord that's coming from the battery. Fold it out, slide it off on it. So once you've got the solar panel on the bonnet or on the roof or on the floor, then you pull out the MPP motor controller. Make sure that it's set up from the solar panel icon to the solar panel. Then you've got another one, which goes from the battery cord into the MPPT controller. You plug that in. And then you've got your solar light on, your load, so the load's coming through, and you have your battery life on how full your battery is. You do have a five volt output to USB, so if you wanna charge your uh, phone or GoPro or that kind of stuff, you can use that there. And uh, yeah, this is a really handy uh, controller. It comes with the solar panel when you do buy it. Um, I think the solar panel is $209 from memory at the moment. Great little solar panel. And then you just basically fit that in there so it's not gonna overheat. So that's my setup with the solar panel running into the battery and into my uh, power supplies. So that is a, I think it's a great little setup to have. Um, if you're only just starting, definitely that is a perfect little uh, setup. You, there is stands, so there is solar panels with um, stands on it. Uh, a couple of guys have got them. They're really good to have, but I find they take up way too much room when you're trying to pack and trying to put into put everything into a small little area. Um, the one that I've got, it folds up nice and small. It's real thin and it's easy just to chuck in the back of the car, um, in between the seats with the kids or uh, in the boat. But uh, yeah, the big ones, I think they're a little bit too bulky. For the price, I think just the uh, solar blanket is the, is the way to go. I hope this clears up on what I use to run power um, off grid. And so hopefully that gives you a rough idea on how, um, how to use a off grid setup. While the solar is charging the battery and running the fridge, we might go for a walk. All right, now I'm gonna show you how we pack this up and how easy it is and how confined the, uh, the, the package is. All right, so you unplug the cord from the lead to the battery. And you'll just unplug that one from the MPPT controller. Cover that up. Fold that in half, like that. Shift it up, fold that in. And here's the Velcro. That's how easy it is, guys. And look, you can see how thin it is. Very easy. All right, so to pack the rest up, you've got your cord, your four meter cord. So you roll that up. Take that off. You put that in the uh, front pouch of the solar panel. So now you can just, you got turned on, the solar panel's been turned off. You just press that, showing 12.9. So technically it's nearly full. So that will give us Two days if I just run the fridge, if, if I run other things off it, it might just give me one day on the uh, battery. All right, to so pack this up, basically, if you want to leave the power running from the battery to the fridge while you're driving, um, what you're better off having is another cord that goes from the car to the fridge, so you're not using the power from the battery when you are driving. You want to save it to when you get to your off-grid campsite, then you use all your power from the battery. There you go, easy as that. Alright guys, that concludes this little uh, product review video. 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of stuff. Uh, if you do like this kind of stuff, please hit the subscribe button. There's going to be much more product reviews, content coming your way. Plenty of fishing uh, episodes coming your way as well. Thanks for watching. I hope it's kind of stuff. Please help us out. Hit that subscribe button. Give us a like. Give us a comment. And uh, we'll see you guys in the outdoors. Stay safe.